All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing 8.4 part two, sum and differences of radical expressions, level two. So we're gonna look, take a look at problems just like this one. Let's get it done now. All right, kids are waiting for me. Uh, as you noticed from the video before, you have to have the same radical uh, number inside, and I don't here. So what I wanna do is I want to try to simplify square root of 48. Square root of 48, I wonder, square root of 48, I really wish that it was something times radical three. Let's try to think, 48 divided by three. What is 48 divided by three? Well, my calculator tells me that's 16 times three. Well, good, calculator's right. Square root of 16, well, that's my perfect square, that's my four, and now all of a sudden I have five rad three plus four rad three. If you remember from your other video, you've got now nine rad three. Piece of cake, no problem. All right, let's take a look at one more example. I apologize, I'm going quickly here, but this is what I'm gonna do. So, uh, radical 32. I really wish that it would be a factor of two. I can think to myself, hmm, radical 32, 32 times, what times two gives me 32? Huh, I wonder if anybody in my class knows. What times 32, what times two gives me 32? 16. 16, there's my lovely 16, there you go. All right, so square root of 16 is four, here's radical two, and then I had the nine out front. Then I had this other radical 2 still sitting out there. 9 times 4, that gives me 36. Radical 2, and then I add radical 2, which is going to give me 37 radical 2. All right, I have to hurry up. Class is about to start. Hopefully that works out. If not, uh, I'll try to make another video later. Adios.